Hello everyone, this is Enno from the Drupal Era in Civil Spain. This video today is about adding breadcrumb metadata to your Drupal 8 installation. For this video we will assume that you have a basic understanding of Drupal 8, how to set it up and how to use a custom theme. I also need to assume that you know what metadata is and how it helps your website. To create the breadcrumb metadata I have set up a clean Drupal 8 installation and we will use a Google Structured Data Testing tool in order to verify our changes that we are doing. Testing tool from Google is pretty easy. You just put in the URL, in our case easy drupal.solutions, and it will tell you immediately what metadata it identifies from your HTML structure. In order to test our breadcrumb data, we need to have breadcrumbs first. For that purpose I created three different pages on our Drupal website. Call them page level 1, 2 and 3 and gave them aliases uh, according to their level. Thanks to an external module which is called Easy Breadcrumbs, Drupal automatically creates a custom breadcrumb trail according to the level of the page and this will be the basis for our metadata. With the basics out of the way, now let's actually add the metadata. First of all, we will switch to our custom scene. For that purpose, I have created um, an empty theme with no styles at all, called it the same as a URL. And now we have an active. If I switch to one of the three pages I created earlier, we can see that the breadcrumbs are still there. They also look as the same because our custom theme has a basic underlying theme as Bartik, which is a classy theme that comes with Drupal and we are getting our styles from a trick template in that classic theme. Let's look for a moment how that actually looks in the Drupal installation folders. For that I switch to Sublime. Here we have the folder structure of a typical Drupal 8 installation. In the folder themes I have installed my own easy Drupal theme. It's basically empty. I just created the necessary info and libraries file and it has a templates folder. The breadcrumbs are still coming from a trick template um, in the classy themes that can be found in core, themes, classy templates and then in the subfolder navigation you will find the standard breadcrumb html trick file. This is what Drupal is using at the moment and copying that file to our theme allows us to modify it in order to add the necessary metadata. Before we actually add the metadata let's quickly talk about standards. At the moment, there are three different formats of metadata that are competing which is with each other. Google allows all of them and also gives examples for each. This right now is a developer documentation specifically for metadata for breadcrumbs. Further down, you'll find examples for JSON, microdata and RFD in order to add them directly to your HTML structure or as in our case to our trick template. Specifically for our example and this video I will use a microdata format because I personally think it works very well with the trick templates. So let's look at how the microdata would actually look like in our webcam template. For this video I've already copied over the breadcrumb trick template to our own theme. 
So if I close the core folder, go back to our Easy Drupal theme, open the templates folder, we have already the modified breadcrumb trick template. And this already contains all the necessary metadata in order to be recognized by Google and other search engines. At this point of the video, we basically reach the conclusion. Um, so if you're not interested in the details of why this code works, you could just copy over the code from the modified breadcrumb twig template and use it in your own theme and it should work on its own. For everyone else, um, first of all, let's get proof that what I did actually has an effect. For that purpose, we go to Google's Structure Data Tool. Using a URL of one of our pages, that actually have a breadcrumb. Paste in the URL, execute the test, and we should see any moment here on the right side the metadata that Google recognizes. Let's talk for a moment about what we're seeing here. So, Google defines our breadcrumbs as a breadcrumb list which has different item list elements, each defined as a list item with a position that defines a hierarchy and each item additionally has a name and is always of type thing as there is no specific breadcrumb type. Let's look at the code that we added to actually achieve these results. Here we have again our modified breadcrumb template and going through the different lines you can see that our ordered list has an item type breadcrumb list to define it as such and then for each item directly in the list element we added um, item scope as list item and then gave each individual breadcrumb um, the item prop name text and we do so no matter if we have a link for it or if we don't because for our Google metadata definition we don't care. Last but not least we need to um, tell Google what the position of each element is and to the rescue comes a trick loop index that we can use to give it um, the hierarchy number that is needed to identify its correct position. In conclusion, you can add breadcrumb metadata really easy to your Drupal theme by using a single template. Feel free to use our code that we will put on the blog post. Then after you've done so, um, you can then test your results. And there's more information about WordCamp metadata and its formats on the Google Developer page. Thank you very much for listening. This is Enno Langelotz from the Drupal Lever. And hopefully see you next time for my next video. Bye-bye.